Hey, what's going on, guys? Andrew here, and as I said, I believe this is day 26? Uh, 25. 25. Um, yeah, so I'm going to watch... I'm going to be reviewing the film Bloodstone, Subspecies 2. Now, my... Uh, so, essentially, this also, like, is a follow-up to the first one, but it introduces a couple different characters. Uh, whoever her her name is, Denise Duff, I think, is that that girl's name. Um, she's beautiful, man. Oh my god. Um, yeah. So um, this is a, it's a kind of a follow up, and I, I'm trying to rem. <laughs> I watch these all at one time, so I'm trying to remember the uh the story for this like if it does anything different i know that there's uh, the sister of the girl tries to come and rescue her and it's kind of that's kind of the plot of the film and uh yeah that's that's kind of it it's like 80 minutes of that and um again this film is the same thing it's the same director and everything so again all of what i said applies to the first film applies to this one um the one thing I failed to mention about the first film is that it, it this um, bloodstone thing, it's like this little little capsule type thing that you like in Hercules, like it, on in the animated Hercules where they have Hercules drink that thing and it's like that glass. Um, that's what it kind of reminds me of. But this this is one of those things that um, that he that it's it there that's in this film but you have to it, it like gives vampires like extra strength but for radu it has this uh drug effect so he's like addicted to it and so that's also really interesting i find that to be fascinating um of a concept i like that he's like searching always searching out for this so that also keeps the plot going too and yeah, so you get some more characters just trying to, you know, get at, get to them and everything. And yeah, so very solid film. Um, again, no time wasted in this film. I wasn't as intrigued by this film as, the, as I was the first one, but it's still really good with really good effects and everything. And I, I was really, really uh, enjoying this film. So um, I'm going to... I, I'm, I'm, this is going to be a shorter review because it's, 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 there's not much I can say about it that I didn't say about the first one, and that's going to be the same for the third one. Um, the one thing I didn't mention also in the first one is he has these these minions that he has. They're like these, like I, I don't know if you can ever. Oh yeah, they appear on the first one here. That they're like these. You can, I probably can't even see it, but they're these like little red creatures, and they're like real tiny, and they're they like. I don't know. They they're they're not even animated creatures. They just appear on the uh, they just like green screened onto the film. Um, I don't know. They don't really serve a purpose. They don't really even do much. They're just kind of there and they just kind of help out Radu. So I don't really want to mention them that much. But you know, it's it, for for what I was expecting from this film. I was again exceeded them i'm gonna give this a seven and a half out of ten again a really good follow-up sequel that introduces this one woman who man i ooh man i wish i was i wish she was 20 years younger um also i should mention that the net the second and third film has kevin blair in it you know kevin blair from being the main uh male character from uh friday part seven and um what else was he in? Oh, yeah, Hills Have Eyes Part 2, the original 1984 one from Craven. Um, yeah, he's in this film, does pretty good. Uh, he's in both of the second and third. So, yeah, good stuff. All right, be checking out for tomorrow's review, guys, and uh, be for the third one. Peace.